Hey, what's up? This is Angles here. This video is all about cropped trousers. Now, I've seen people wearing these more and more recently, and personally, I think that they're pretty cool. However, I do think that some people are a little bit apprehensive about wearing them, either because they think that they're not as versatile as a regular cut, or they won't work with the kind of things that they've already got in their wardrobe, or because they don't want to look too edgy, try hard, hashtag fashion type thing. So I wanted to hopefully alleviate both of those fears and show a bunch of different variations involving cropped pants, which I think are pretty easy to wear and versatile as well. This isn't so much a, a kind of top five fits as a like five very variations which you can rock these bad boys in a bunch of different situations. For this video I've got some trousers from Blood Brother and from Koss. Uh, I'll put links to them in the description if I can still find them. I did buy them quite a while ago but if not I'll find a similar alternative so it's all good. Now both of these are cotton so they're not really designed for tech wear type stuff but there are some great cropped technical pants out there and they can definitely look great with some more summer orientated tech fits. It's time! Let's do this. The most obvious advantage of your average crop is that they tend to have a bit more of a relaxed fit and obviously are shorter than jeans or regular pants. So this makes them perfect for when the temperature picks up a little bit as an alternative to shorts. So first up, you can pretty much run with that idea. Keep everything as light as possible so you don't get too hot. The sandals keep that maximum airflow going on, as does the t-shirt. Of course, you can also pair this up with a hat or shades or whatever, keep that sun off your face. This kind of fit I think is ideal for a crop trouser like these Blood Brother ones because they're very unstructured, they're quite casual, they're not tailored or pleated or anything. So keep it kind of loose the whole way through and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So that's that, let's get a little bit more exciting now. Of course, it's the length of the cropped pants which is their most interesting factor. They're a little bit kind of off or a bit distorted almost compared to trousers or shorts, so you can always continue that on the top half as well. This is an ASOS kimono which has a super elongated sleeve, which looks kind of cool with a reduced length of the pants. Since the kimono has given us some Asian vibes, we might as well continue that with the lethal sock plus ninja sandal combo. You can see from this fit in particular how easy it would be to push this more in the direction of tech wear. For example, for example, you could swap out that ASOS kimono for something like a Gorilla Group Mandarin shirt or uh, add a cobra belt in there as well so you've got some extra straps hanging down and boom, you're pretty much sorted. Of course, using a different pair of cropped pants, something with more of a taper to it or using more technical materials would also be a great swap if you want to convert this sort of fit into a more tech wear type thing. So at the start of this video, I mentioned that I think some people are concerned the cropped pants are a little bit of a try-hard type look. In the last fit, each thing individually is quite unusual, so I think that sort of thing could be perceived as a little bit of a look at me, I'm such a fashion killer, or whatever. So let's take a look at something a little bit more reserved. We're moving over to the cost pants now, which have a little bit more of a regular fit, a less severe crop as well. So this is basically just a more summery version of a very standard minimalist kind of Scandinavian-esque streetwear fit. The low sneakers with no socks is kind of an acknowledgement that, you know, the weather's looking all right, I can afford to get some breeze on the ankles. And it helps draw attention to that clean look of the sneakers. These ones are from Koss, but they're basically identical to the common Project Achilles, so for extra flex appeal, you can always go for those instead. The t-shirt is from Rory John here, but you could basically put any streetwear brand tee here with a nice sort of minimal design, and I think it would look pretty sweet. If you're the kind of person that's into your Supreme, for example, stick a box logo in with this fit. Mwah. Beautiful. A tiny bit more sophisticated to just wearing skinny jeans, but also a nice down-to-earth, relaxed fit that looks good without being in your face at all. Don't think though that you have to get all slutty and show your ankles off. You can do exactly the opposite and rock some nice jazzy socks instead. I think this works best if everything is super plain and then you keep the socks as garish as possible. You only see them a little bit between the bottom of the pants and the top of your shoe. So I think really drawing attention to that little kind of section there for that nice pop of color just makes the whole fit that a little bit more exciting. This fit is basically as plain and as simple as you could possibly get, but the crop just makes it a tiny bit interesting, again, without really coming across as consciously trying to be cool and individual. It's just, you know, it's just cool. As a final thing, don't feel that wearing a crop is restricted to being really casual either. Uh, there's nothing wrong with wearing a shirt instead of a tee just to smarten things up a little bit. This is perfect for a casual office environment or if you're going somewhere where you're expected to dress a little bit more smartly. Although this shirt is pretty casual with those rolled sleeves to keep that slightly aloof kind of look, 
There's no reason why you can't stick a crisp white shirt on there alongside some navy socks for a modern, professional kind of look, which again, still doesn't look too out there. So hopefully that gave you some ideas, maybe inspired you to pick up some cropped pants of your very own. Of course, if I do pick up anything that's more kind of tech wear appropriate, of course I will feature those in an individual video for some of those sick summer tech fits. If you have any thoughts about cropped pants, then of course do leave them below in the comments. Uh, I'd like to hear what you guys think about them, or of course if you've got any cool fits that you want to show off, then of course leave some links to those as well. If you enjoyed the video, do make sure to smash that MF like button, and if you didn't, then just leave an angry comment or something instead. Uh, I know I featured some slightly different things in this video to what I normally would, but a little bit of variety, you know, no bad thing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Welcome cropped pan enthusiasts to the end of the video. If you want to see some more stuff, then there will be videos up there. And of course, you want to subscribe, you want to see some more things that are coming out in the future, then you can always hit that little button on the side there. I will be kind of returning to more tech wear based things for the next couple of videos, but I just thought for this one, I would mix it up. So if you, if you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different, then by all means, let me know. Or if you would prefer me to kind of stick more to the tech wear side of things, I can do that as well. Jon Snow, protect me from the wildlings.